Try, Elaine. It's just all that sitting around. It's just so boring. But education isn't just about sitting around in the classroom. It's about getting good qualifications and getting a good job. And then sitting around in an office. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, look, there's, there's this special work placement project coming up and, and it's a chance for you to show what you can really do. I've managed to sort out some placements for you, both, and I, and I think you'll be pleased. Um, Amber, you're off to work in the florists. <laughs> and Bouncer, you're going to the tax office. <laughs> <laughs> As if anyone in their right mind would want to work for anyone else. It's a mugs game. I plan to be an entrepreneur. Entra what? A crook. Don't tell me you're going to be a millionaire by the time you're 25. I've no intention of leaving it that long. No, me. I'm going to do something that's going to make me rich. When you find it, can you put in a word for me? I thought you were madly in love for your fashion course. I am. I could just do with a bit more cash, that's all. My Saturday job don't pay much. I'd hate to work in a shop. It's like being a slave. When I grow up, I'm going to work with dolphins. Either that, I'll be a bus driver. I want to be an air hostess. That's just a waitress with wings on. When I grow up, I'm going to have the most fantastic career. <laughs> Elaine, she's making me get a job. No way. Is that legal? I mean, you're only 13. You shouldn't have to earn your own living. Not yet. And I know they're underfunded and everything, but even so, she's mad, that Elaine. No, it's a work experience thing. She wants me to go to a tax office. Tell you what, why don't you get a job anyway, then she can't force you to do work experience on top? Like what? Like a distribution and delivery executive in the information industry. Huh? Thanks for letting me share your office, Jenny. Come in. Could I have a word, please, Lean? In private. I can't work in a florist. Why ever not? Mm. Oh, do you have a pollen allergy? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I have. Just the thought of those flowers. OK, I'll find you something else. Thanks, Aline. A paper boy? You? You can get up in the morning to save your life. I can if there's money involved. How much money? I need a job. Whatever for? Um, for money, of course. Well, I'm sorry, Tracy. You're too young. Oh, but how comes Banter gets to... He's older than you. He's oh, allowed. That's not fair. It's the law, and it applies to everyone, I'm afraid, even Tracy Beaker. Oh, but how can I earn money if I can't work? And what are you grinning at? A little squirt like you getting a job. Where are you going to be, then? A garden gnome? You wait, Amber Hurst. You'll see. I will get a job. Bet you don't. How much? Slave for a day. You're on. No, Tracy, I can't pay you to help me. Anyway, I don't know why you're in such a rush to enter the world of work. It's no picnic, I can tell you. Yeah, I can see that. Paycheck every week, no one telling me what to do, when to go to bed. It must be hell. It's not all fun, you know. You have to get up early every morning, iron your shirt, find matching socks. It's a nightmare. <laughs> but Nathan, you don't do any of those things. Jude, how do you like an assistant gardener? Great. Come next spring, I'll need all the help I can get. Oh, next spring? I can't wait that long. Oh, Anna, I've just spent 
spoken to a friend who's got a friend then. And... Anyway, long story short, your work placement's sorted. It'll be in the hairdressers, and you'll be making cups of tea and sweeping the floor, that sort of thing. But if you make a really good impression, they might let you shampoo the customer's hair. Okay. See you. Come in. Jenny, I was just wondering, do you need any help? Uh, that's nice of you, Tracy, but I'm fine, thanks. Are you sure? It's just, you're always complaining about being behind on the paperwork. Well, it's not the kind of thing you can help me with, but thanks all the same, Tracy. Fine, then. There's always fine that needs to be done. What is this all about? Have you broken something? No, I just want to help. And earn some money. Right, out. OK, OK, I'm going. But if you do think of anything, my rates are very reasonable. Thing and I miss her so much, and now Elaine says, Shh, oh. It's all right. I'll have a word with Elaine. <laughs> Elaine! What now? About this job. The law hasn't changed in the last hour, Tracy. You still can't get a job. I know all that, but there's nothing to stop us from coming to a private agreement, is there? Maybe I can help with some of your trickier clients. Oh, Elaine, a word? Uh, yes, mm. uh, absolutely. But what about my job? Face it, you've no chance of getting a job. Get ready to sleep. Just watch me. I'm going to get tons of money. really is very upset. I had no idea. I'll cancel the hairdressers first thing tomorrow. Yeah, I think it'll be best. But she'd better accept her next placement. Sorted. You'll be working at outpatients in the general hospital. A hospital? But I fainted the first I bled. Oh, what a surprise. All right, forget the hospital then. Adele said she'll take you to work with her. What? Well, she's fixed it all up with a supervisor, and they very kindly said you can go in tomorrow. Well, the thing is, for the clothes shop, I don't think uh, it's uh, really... uh, No more arguments. It's either that or the one remaining placement. Oh, is that one? On a pig farm. <laughs> Oh, oh, Tracy, you fried me to death. Three pound fifty pounds to as we agreed. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Where are you going, Bounce? Back to the shop to hand in my notice. Can't afford this job. Wait, before you go, sign this. That is so you. It looks great. Amber here has one just like it. Don't you, Amber? Don't you, Amber? 
Oink, oink. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> and behave yourself. Amber, are you trying to get me fired? I'm bored. <sighs> You're an annoying little squirt who lost a bet and has got nothing better to do than come here and annoy me. Oh, yeah? I, Bouncer Prokova, confirm that I have employed Tracy Beaker in the capacity of waker upper. Keep going. And paid for her outstanding professional services. Looks like I won that little bet we had. Uh, so where's the money? Right here in my pocket. Is that all? I won't even pay for those hip band things they sell here. It's enough to put down a deposit, though. Has this top taken your fancy, madam? My assistant here will be happy to reserve it for you. And is your assistant getting paid? <laughs> Over my dead body. about the colour. Go and get me one in lemon, lilac and sugar pink, will you, slave? Oh, and cheer up. If you work really hard, I might let you borrow this. What's the difference between Justine and a bucket full of mouldy maggots? The bucket. For your sake. Hey, you! I did it yesterday! Oh, here we go again. Oh, great, all the same channels at the same time. One couldn't leave the table. So you learn, really learn. Now what are you going to do? TV time. So, when are you going to do something about it? Hmm, about now. Do you promise not to attack each other again? What do you think we are, animals? Can we just forget about this silly argument? It is Goodness me. All this fighting over a silly old channel changer. I'd never get into a fight over something so trivial. That's because you're a sad, lonely old loser who has no one to fight with. Yes, well... Um, here. Can we just write some facts about each other? Easy. No sweat. Uh, nice things. You know, positive things. <laughs> How many positive things? Ten. Ten? We'll be here for days. Weeks, even. Five things, then. Surely you can manage that. Mm. One thing. One small thing. Then can we go? 
is nice -ish. One thing about Tracy? Her sensitivity. <clears throat> well done. Maybe Elaine's ideas will work. <laughs> Tracy and Justine fight. It's natural, they always have. Always will. Oh, yeah? So, what's all that about then? Hmm? You're a walking bag of bogeys, Justine Littlewood. <laughs> if I had my way, I'd soon sort you out. <laughs> How do we have a fight without fighting? Champions! Champions. So they changed their medication again. Champions! Like in my class project. You know, knights of old jousting for their favourite princess. Jousting? No, no, wrestling. We, well, I mean I, could do bets. I give you great deals. And whichever champion wins gets to keep the channel changer for the whole day. All week. Done. Staff meetings at four. They won't notice if we keep it quiet. Lady Muck, you can referee. Keep it till I win. I've a champion to find. Well, I'm going to have a talk to Lowell. So you'd be my champion? Why should I? Oh, here we go. What's in it for me? Honestly, me, me, me. I, I, I. Self, self, self. It's only Lowell. I could cane him myself. But if you're too yellow, I'll just find someone else. Someone with guts. Never give a scaredy chicken boy a girl's job. Hang on. Who said I was scared? Lyle, we're having a wrestling match. Here you are. No. I need someone to fight for me. No worries. <laughs> Not you. Muscles. No way. He's a dedicated pacifist. Won't take part in violence of any kind. No matter what he or his manager are offered. OK, free snacks and drinks all weekend. Mmm, might not be enough. He's a difficult one to persuade, my brother. OK, and what do you want? Uh, you run and about for us all, they should do it. OK, deal. Seconds away, Beaker. Round one. Which idiot's got the channel changer? When I find out who's got it, Sorry. That is such a nice outfit. Give us a twirl. Oh, I can't. Um, I've got to, um, kiss a few frogs. <laughs> Speaker, fancy flutter? Have I got dog breath? I'll give you odds of ten to one on Ben. You mean, if I bet a pound on Ben, he wins, I get ten back. Is it a deal? Don't worry, I'll take whatever you've got. Better still, just give me my winnings now. Winnings? Do you think Ben can meet Bouncer? Bouncer? What are you doing? A warm up, a swim, a sauna, and I'm ready. No way, I've got an intense exercise and diet program worked out for you. What for? I'm only fighting that Prokova kid. I am only fighting that Prokova kid, aren't I? Of course you are. Over that is. Bouncer! Oh. Justine! What? Can you pass my personal stereo? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Aren't you forgetting something? A little word beginning with P. Popcorn! Three bags. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
We're best, best, bestest friends, aren't we, Lou? Of course. So lend us some money. What for? Lowell's getting bounced to be my champion. All I have to do is buy him anything he wants till he wins. So? I'll, I mean we'll, get the channel changer all week. And when we don't want it, we can rent it out for cash. And I still get a lane back. I suppose so. Don't look. What's all these? I owe you. Can I have my money? I owe you one pound. Justine! I'll pay back. Promise. What are you doing? It should be square and the grown-ups will see you squirt. Pity you haven't got any money. You could bet on Ben. I'd give you great odds. I've got five pounds. Oh, why didn't you say? Where is it? Honey bun? It's in my bag book. <laughs> stupid deals. Ah, but this isn't better. Louise, believe me, you haven't got anything I'd be the slightest bit interested in. You couldn't have a shop, you said. Yeah, but... Ah, I'm gonna get served hand for you, said. Yeah, we did, but... And you'll be too scared to jump. That's what you said. Oh, all right, all right. So I made a slight miscalculation. Good day. Slight? You know I don't want to fight. Just bluff it out. He's terrified. He's bound to back down. Trust me. Uh, kid, best step back unless you want to be splattered by his blood. Champion, when I, the fair lady of this realm, drop my hanky, this battle will commence. Commence. I'll look after him. Peaceful day. No rows, no aggro. You see, modern discipline really. Carry on as if I'm not here. Shouldn't be a problem. No one ever pays me attention anyway. Tracy, what's going on? Nothing. What's the first aid kit? First aid kit? What have you done? I told you nothing. But don't believe little innocent Tracy. Go on. Get the lie detector, the truth drugs, the thumb screws. Tracy! Typical. I'm not doing anything. Every other kid in this dump could be involved in armed revolution. But who gets shouted at? Me. Armed revolution? <laughs> uh, you can't stop this, it's bet, Tom. Well, actually, I've heard the thumb wrestle. Oh, me too. Ring me next three. Got four. What? No way, it's not even out yet. Well, you've got him. Luke Legg's got an American cousin. Fancy a game. Oh, yeah, wicked. And what about the fight? <gasps> Finished. Well, then, bets are off. I keep the money. No way. Uh, yes, we. <laughs> Speaking of money, I want mine back now. Uh, not unless you give me the change of first. She can't. Because I've got it. Oh, 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 Ten nice things. Mm -hmm. Everyone, calm down. Change it, please. Louise, Louise don't give it to me. It's done, you dare do it. Goody, oh, goody! Oh, 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 oh
goody, goody. goody. It's disgraceful behavior. There's only one person amongst you who deserves this. Tracy? Thanks. Tracy Beaker. I'd love to stay, but wrestling's on. Well, <laughs> <laughs>